So we've been working on knife crime for about the last 10 years and we've been looking at how different variables around knives influence their ability to be effective stabbing weapons. I think in a stabbing incident there are only two people who really know what went on. There's the person who was stabbed, who may or may not be alive, and there's the person who did the stabbing. And what we're trying to do with our research is to understand just from the evidence that we've got in terms of the knife or the implement that's left and the wound that's left on the person who was stabbed, actually how much force was involved in creating that particular stab wound. So for example we've been looking at characterising the sharpness of the tips and understanding for sharp knives or blunt knives how that relates to the force that's involved in stabbing. What we've been trying to do more recently is we've been trying to relate that through a series of tests on a force plate called a dynamometer and what that does is it allows us to simulate a stabbing event and record the peak force that people generate during that stabbing event and we're relating that back to the implement that's used for the stabbing in those cases.